welcome to another video. So what I'm going to be doing today is utilising the leftover chicken stew with obviously the chickpeas and various vegetables in there. And I'm going to be making uh, spiced Moroccan mince. So instead of um, pork or beef mince, I'm going to be using lean turkey thigh mince. Uh, I've got some cherry tomatoes there, fresh thyme, a little bit of fresh mint. Um, leftover tin tomatoes, uh, a little bit of red pepper, some spring onion, clove of garlic, uh, but I've used a little bit of tomato puree in there. Um, I've got some mild um, curry powder, I've got some cumin powder, I thought I'd put a little bit of tamarind powder in there, and then it's all going to be served with uh, on a bed of couscous, and I'll just put a little bit of unsalted butter in there. Okay, so let's get going. What, first of all, I'm going to heat up uh, the chicken stew. And then I'm going to get this, uh, this pan going here. Put a little bit of rapeseed oil in there, not too much. Put the garlic in. So I'll put a couple of um, green peppercorns in the pestle and mortar. Just put a bit there. Eight teaspoon of cumin. And then this, I reckon, a couple of pinches of uh, mild curry powder, maybe a third pinch. Then mild yellow, so it's going to be nice. Probably got a bit of turmeric in there anyway, so I'll go easy, easy does it on the turmeric, just a tiny little dash of that, and then a tiny little dash of the uh, tamarind powder. In goes the spring onions. quite a lot. I mean with the stew I got two dinners last night. I got two full little Tupperwares that I put that I've frozen plus I've got this left over here uh, to, to bulk out the sauce of the mince. So it really goes a long way uh, and it's good on your pocket too. Definitely. And uh, the chicken just the chicken thighs just fell off the bone. I just uh, I've taken out the bones and taken out the Chicken uh, skin as well. We don't want to be eating that. Turn that down a little bit. Just going to chop up a little this uh, red pepper roughly. Probably chop it up a little bit smaller actually, just to speed up the cooking process for you guys. Find it, uh, you know, like cooking quite quickly in the, on the, in the pan. Just pour a little bit of the tomato juice in, not a lot. And also a free bowl of the kettle can give it a little splash of that. Not too much, because we've actually got the stew coming in there as well. Just stops it sticking. Okay. Put a little bit of uh, balsamic vinegar in there. Come 
back to this. Let's put all my spices in there. Just grind that up. Doesn't need a lot because it's the only coarse uh, spice in there is the peppercorns, you know, and I only put a couple in there, so that's totally fine. And I'll put that in once uh, with the turkey mint. Okay, leave the, leave the mint for now. That stew's looking good. So I'm going to turn that down, that stew. And now I think the turkey mints can go in. Turkey mince is very lean, and obviously where it's a thigh turkey mince, it won't dry out as much as the breast. Wash your hands. Now I'm going to turn off that stew at the back. Turn up the gas here, so we can just cook this down a little bit quicker for you guys. Okay. Just break that block of turkey mince up a little bit. Spices. Okay. That's it. And this is very, very uh, quick dish. You know, turkey mince won't need that. You, you can cook it down for as long as you want, really. It's uh, it will last. It will go tomorrow, the next day. Freeze it, whatever you want. It's a very versatile uh, mince, and because it's low fat. You don't feel, you don't have a big guilty conscience, you know. So, it's all good. I'm going to turn that right up just to get it going. And once that gets going, then I can pour in all that lovely juices of the, of that uh, stew. It's looking good. Okay. Now in goes the tomato. I'm just utilising whatever I've got, so kind of like just everything, all my recipes they're just made up on the spot really, or like I've figured them out like the day before what I'm going to be using, but um, you know, it's just utilising what I've got left over really, so make it do with what we've got, it's not actually sticking to a set recipe uh, that I've found on wine or anything, you know, you know an invention. <clears throat> okay, so what I'm going to do now is roughly chop these. It's to save a little, little job, doesn't it? Just getting ahead of the game. These, these won't go in until like uh, toward quite near the end. Because I don't want this, the, the, the skins coming off the tomatoes. I'm just going to almost like uh, warm them through and like, you know, make them a little bit soft. You don't want to overcook the tomatoes. But again, this is going to, by the time I'm adding all these spices and other ingredients, you'll never know that it was a chicken stew. <laughs> so, that's the name of, name of the game, isn't it? Just to try and, you know, make every meal different, taste different from the, from the last, you know? Because I don't want to be eating a stew every day in the week, you know? It keeps things very interesting that way. Okay, that's looking good. So what I can do now is pour in the chicken stew. That's it. It's got carrots in there, sweet, and the chickpeas and a bit of chick like uh, really softened down chicken thigh, just like almost like flakes. They're really going to complement this dish, I think. Just adds a bit more goodness in there, you know, with the root vegetables. But it's not overpowering; it's just a little bit. So. It's not going to be so predominant in the dish. Yeah. And by the time that's all melted down, that's going to be lovely. Okay, so whilst that's doing cooking down, I'm going to just go do the cooking, I think. And then we're almost there. So in goes like a couscous. Yeah. That's fine. Just about that much. So I'm going to cook. Yeah, about that much, because I'm going to be utilising a bit of that tomorrow as well. So in fact, with bearing that in mind, I might put a tad more in there. Okay. And then I'm just going to pour the boiling water on there. Actually, in fact, I had an idea. 
normally you pour the water on, let it evaporate, then put another butter in. But I just thought, well, why don't I put a, another butter in there first, and then put the, uh, the boiling water on top, and then it would just almost like uh, help melt the butter, right? Well, I've never done it before, but it's, in theory it should work. And then just cover the couscous like so. Um, put the pirates back on, to be a little, little shape like that. In fact, we can just leave that there for you guys to see. That's just going to literally soak up all that water. Yeah. Okay, this is looking good now. You can see that. Looking good. Now I think it's almost, it's almost done. I mean, it doesn't take long. I mean, you can cook it down for, you know, at least another 20 minutes if you really wanted to, but because uh, for the sake of the video, I mean, like, I can actually, we can eat this in like five minutes. Yeah? So all I'm going to do, just put those lot, the, the cherry tomatoes on top, cook it down for another five minutes, and whilst that couscous is um, soaking up that water, it should all be done at the same time. And I'll show you a picture once it's plated up.